Hello everyone, it's showtime. I've gotten a lot of requests from everyone and um, about how to draw ponies. So I'm going to start doing this tutorial series on how to draw ponies. Uh, for the first star uh, video, let's start with the female pony body. We're going to do it facing to the side. We'll do them all separate in separate videos when we get there, but for now, let's just, yeah. Ah, anyway, let's start, draw let's draw drawing, yeah. Okay. Okay, for anything, you always start with a circle. Always start with a circle. And what I like to do, so I know, like, what direction or anything, I like to draw in the ear. An ear usually is just, like, two curved arches or lines or whatever you want to call them. Different people call them different things. So that'll usually give you, like, the base and everything. And usually when you start the neck, it's usually right behind the ear. The neck can either be straight or curved depending on preference. I like to draw with a curve at the very end. Alright. Now, with the female pony, they are they have a pointed nose, unlike the colts. The colts actually have like more of a snout, like that. But because we're working with females, let's just stick with female. Alright. So female usually snout starts about almost midway, I would say slightly below. So probably around here. The females have like a curved, rounded nose, just like that. And then what you do to make the chin, you just curve down along with the circle that you've made for the head. And then you go back and just connect the head, a little darken the lines. There you go. All right, so now we have the, the we have the body or not the body, the head. Blah, can't talk. <laughs> Anyway, um, so now we're going to start with the body. Now, some people like to draw starting with more of like a, an arch, a curve. What I like to do when I draw my ponies, I like to start where the neck is right below here. Kind of curves a little and then becomes rounded. So you start where it goes in and it goes out, because that's the, becoming the chest. Now, so you just continue the line down after it curves. So now we're going to learn how to do the back. The back, usually, now if you're doing like an alicorn kind of body, usually what you do is you can you could continue the neck and go down like this. But because we're doing a regular pony, we're just going to, um, we're just gonna do it um, with the no back, really. Once it goes to the neck, it immediately goes to their um, the back side. So their back side usually starts off straight, but then curves for their flank. Just like that. So there you have your basic body. All right. Now, when you're doing a pony's leg, um, Depending, like, if you're doing any positionings or anything, you would work out, like, the structure of, like, the three ball point, like this, or like that. So if the pony's leg is like this, you have the three balls right here. One, two, and three. So you have the shoulder, you have the elbow, and kind of like the wrist. But for now, because you're all learning, I would recommend you just learn the basic standing thing. Position, block. So when you draw, it's right below, it's pretty much almost connected to the beginning of where the neck is. So you draw like a, you can either draw a straight or curved line, depending on like the characteristics of your character. So I like to draw where it's almost straight, but curves at the end for the hoof. Now for the back, you start with a slight, um, or, um, or it's straight, then you start with a really slight curve, then it comes back at the end, connect to the bottom. So it should be like that. Now, if you want to draw on the shoulder, you can go ahead. 
Sometimes it's even easier to, to start from the shoulder and then go down all the way. Now for on the far side of the body, you pretty much the same basic movement and everything. How you would draw it. Now to work with the flank. In my opinion, the flank is the hardest. I have a problem with curves. That's probably why I draw men better than I do with females when it comes to humans. <laughs> but um, anyway, so with a female, with a mare, they have a curved flank. Now, what I like to do, I like to start from the um, the front part of the leg, and same thing with like the um, with the arm. You have like three balls, so you have it where it starts off here, pretty much like this, and then you have it like where it's all straight, but then it connects. And usually when you draw it like this. You have the top part of the leg, you have the bend, and then like the um, the ankle. Alright, so you start from the top, and you give it a curve a little. It kind of starts inward and you just go a little out. And then like a, uh, kind of like the letter S, where you curve it and then you curve the other way. And then there's the bottom of the hoof. Now, working with the bottom of the, or the top of the flank, you just finish off that curve. What you do is you don't finish it, like you don't connect it. So you leave it off for like a little tail right there. After you draw a little straight line for the top part of the, of the, of the foot. You curve this a little bit, and then you connect it to the bottom. So now you have the basic pony body structure for the leg. So just curve, curve out, and like that. Now if it was a male, male hooves tend to actually stick out more than a female's. So kind of like this. Kind of if you, if you look at Big Macintosh, like it sticks out more. And then like they're, especially if they're a colt with like a, with a fur. Then it's like that, where it usually sticks out. Females, on their hand, other hand, it's just kind of curves and just really, really simple. While the male is like a bump, like that. So, just curve. And then now, when you do the back leg, same you do the same motions where it's the curve and then it ends. Now remember, when you're drawing the the back legs, the ones on the um the ones that are facing or that are hidden behind the ones that are facing you, you draw them uh, slightly above where the other feet are standing. You don't draw them exactly at the same level because they are further away. So, that is basically how you draw a pony body. And of course, you darken the lines. Ah, oh, my computer's lagging. Oh, need a new computer. Sorry if it's a bit like off. This is my first time really drawing live and everything, and I tend to really sketch out everything ahead of time on like a sheet of paper. So this is kind of my first time, so it might be a little different than from what I'm drawing. So in a way, I'm kind of learning too from here. Usually I draw ponies on paper, so. Ah, I messed up on the leg, but that's okay. It's okay to mess up. It actually took me quite a long time to learn how to draw a pony. Um, I would say almost exactly a year ago is when I pretty much started drawing ponies. So. That's pretty much the basic of how to draw them. That's like my way of drawing them. I don't, I'm not like other people that start with basic shapes and 
like, you know. I mean, if that's how you feel comfortable learning, that's perfectly fine. You can do that or you can do whatever you want. But this is the way I do it. So anyway, oh, and for the ear, you always draw the line inside. So, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. In the next video, I will talk about like how to draw like um, if it's a unicorn and, um, with a mane or if it's a pegasus with the wings. Wings, on the other hand, can be very difficult depending what you're going for. So for like a uh, for a uh, let's see uh, for unicorn, the basic shape is usually like this. And I cannot find my cursor. Ah, there it goes. It's when you draw a unicorn, it's their horn is not entirely pointed. It's actually curved. So you can start with two pointed lines when you draw them, but you have the it's curved at the very top. And usually has two or three lines. Now, um, yeah, so I'll talk about how to draw the Pegasus wings in the next video. Alright, signing out, movie nights. Long live the movie nights! I hope you enjoy.